Hi, I'm Finlay and you're watching the Run Freak YouTube channel. Now we are a bit late to the party with this review because the New Balance 1080 V13 running shoes have been out for several months now. However, these are proving to be one of the most popular daily mileage running shoes around right now. So we thought we would test them out for ourselves and let you know why they're so popular. Let's start by talking through the updates then. The most notable change is the new Fresh Foam X midsole. The formula has been tweaked, so it's now lighter and more energy returning than before. The stack height of the midsole is also higher and the drop is lower, so that means there's more of that Fresh Foam X foam sitting under your feet. Now, it's pretty easy to gloss over the outsole rubber on running shoes, but the updates to this section of the 1080 are very important in regards to how it now feels to run in. There is a new outsole rubber and you can see these new flex grooves, these vertical flex grooves that are cut in the outsole here. And the whole point of this new design is to try and stiffen up that section of the shoe. You might be thinking, why would you want to make that part stiffer when you've got this really nice soft plush foam under your feet? And the answer is that actually improves how the cushioning functions because it stops the midsole from bottoming out and getting overly compressed. And it also improves the function of that heel to toe rocker, that prominent rocker geometry. So it really means that you're actually gonna get more out of the cushioning and what's on offer under your feet. When it comes to the upper of the 1080, there's a new engineered mesh with a no-sew design. There's also a gusseted tongue, which creates that second skin-like fit. And it's fair to say these look absolutely amazing. We love this New Balance logo on the side here. It delivers a really premium feel and look to the shoes. Since we've just talked about the changes to the upper, let's talk about how they fit. And whilst they fit true to size, I think the most important thing to know with regards to the 1080 upper is that it does offer an almost sock-like fit, quite a compressive feel to it. And that doesn't mean they're narrow. It just means that they do hug your feet. I've actually got pretty broad feet and I find the forefoot really spacious. But what I would say is that a thinner sock does feel more comfortable than a thicker sock with the way that this fabric feels and fits. Now, in my opinion, the ankle counter could offer slightly more lockdown and security around there. But having said that, I didn't notice it slipping around or moving at all on the run. And the padding on the inside of the heel collar there feels really comfortable. And this is probably one of the hardest areas of a running shoe to review because it's just so subjective how that feels. We have such different ankle shapes from one another and what feels secure and snug for one runner might feel loose for another. So it is pretty difficult to give an accurate conclusion there. But for most people, this should provide a really comfortable sensation. And it's also helped by the fact that that gusseted tongue provides a lot of midfoot lockdown. So it's really unlikely that you're gonna feel your feet moving around in the upper of the 1080. When it comes to the important bit then, the cushioning, I am not surprised that these are popular right now. The cushioning feels absolutely amazing. The step in comfort is incredible, ultra soft and plush. And then when you get on a run, it feels super bouncy. So you're just getting the best of both worlds. You also really feel the effect of that heel to toe rocker. It feels both smooth and snappy. And by that, I mean the transitions from landing through to takeoff feel really fluid, but then you get that really propulsive takeoff when you go to push off and move on to your next stride. Because of how bouncy the cushioning feels, they're incredibly versatile and they genuinely feel really good across a wide range of paces. When you're taking it easy, the cushioning feels really plush and really protective. But if you pick up the pace, it feels really energetic and responsive. I'm not saying for one second that you're gonna be able to use these for interval training because that's not what they're for and they're not gonna feel great at that. But you can definitely use them for some light tempo work. I've actually tested them out below four minute a kilometer pace and they actually surprisingly felt really good at that. The fact that they've also got the high stack and prominent rocker means that they feel super comfortable when you're doing those longer, easy runs as well. No running shoe can do it all, but it's fair to say that the 1080 are one of the most versatile feeling daily mileage running shoes out there. If we compare them to models such as the Brooks Glycerin, the Hoka Bondi, the OnCloud Monster, 
they feel softer, bouncier, and lighter under the feet. So it just means that they feel great across a range of paces. They're probably the closest running shoes I've tried in comparison to the Nike Invincible. However, because the stack height isn't as high and the foam is not quite as soft, they offer a more stable underfoot feel. But I wouldn't be surprised if New Balance said there's P-backs in this foam. I know there's not, but it just feels that good under the feet. In summary then, New Balance have done an amazing job with the updates to these 1080 running shoes. It is really tricky to make a foam feel this soft, this bouncy and stable all at the same time. And that's what makes them so versatile and so comfortable to run in. They also offer amazing value at £160. And that's because there's a lot of running shoes which are more expensive than these that don't feel as cushioned. And if you compare these to some of the lower priced alternatives that are maybe 130, 140 pounds, the step up in cushioning and comfort is really noticeable and you're really gonna feel the difference on those runs, particularly when you're going out for the longer miles. And that brings us to the end of this New Balance 1080 V13 running shoes review. They definitely get a massive thumbs up from us and we hope this episode has helped you make a decision on whether or not they're going to be the right running shoes for you thank you very much for watching this episode we hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this see you soon